What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my uh, Romy Master Total War Let's Play as the Brutia. I've got to really, really focus. I don't say Empire Total War. Um, in this episode we took back Salona and Apollonia from the Macedonians. We now have two armies pushing in against uh, their territory. We want to recapture the city of Thermon, but we also have an army to the north led by our faction Air um, against Larissa, which will be taken into capture. And then we will want to push down to Athens and Corinth, also Thessalonica, you know, consolidate our territory in Macedonian lands, and then attack the Greeks and start to expand and go capture Rhodes. I might want to check, actually. Yes! Your city shrine to Artemis. Okay, let's build a public health temple here. Salonis, probably the same. Yeah, we've got a shrine to Ares. Build a shrine to Juno. You could push up more, but I still want to uh, fortify this army a bit more. Just because I'm pants at this game and I need all the help I can get. My merchant's doing good work, but I think I've got to hit end turn. Ah. Idle diplomats, idle spies. My spy is fine just here because he's acting like a very. He gives us quite a lot of visibility. If I move him off here. Like we suddenly lose insight of what's going around at Larissa for no movement. Whereas if I keep him up here, you can see over all these mountains. And that's pretty damn awesome. Let's hit end turn. Our other real diplomat is continuing the... Our actual... Uh, oh, we got trade rights? We already do. Okay. Disregard. Yeah, Macedonia continuing to pump out troops. The army's push, pulled back towards Larissa, which is good. It means we can drive on Thermon. It does mean that Northern Army is not going to push up. They're going to hold position and be reinforced. So we want you to march on. Take there. Oh, there we go. And we also want Tarantum now send forces to go support Aldus Brutus, especially as they have a severe cavalry deficit. You can dump some Principes who can also go join them. These men can't move because they're penned in by the Macedonians. But that's pushed them off. You go back to Croton. Give us some retraining. Let's check our building browser. Eruption at Etna. And Thrace is now at war with Dace, Dacia. Pontus at war with Egypt. Carthage with Numidia. Julia and Germania are allies, and Macedon have declared a ceasefire with the Julia traitors. Three turns to take the city. Again, couldn't really ever take it, and now they managed to push the the uh, Dacians back, so it's unlikely we will meet those objectives. Actually, you guys fall back. What will intercept them? What can you recruit? Anything useful? No, it's got 1,400 people. Okay, I might want to continue the... Well, no. To be honest, I think my the best use of Tarantum is to ferry units over and allow Apollonia to grow organically, I think. Okay, Tarantum can get a new building. But first of all, let's check some of these other... It's Croton. I mean, I definitely want a ship, right? So let's check none of our cheaper towns are yet building any, building any new buildings. So who's making more money? Tarantum is making more money at the moment, so they can build a ship, right? Croton. For the market. And then we've got no money, but we're spending it on good economic upgrades. So that can't be too much of a bad idea. I mean, I know it's kind of pointless having my diplomat just stand there. Especially as they now booted my spy off of his hill.
And also, Crowtar, I'm getting a trade. That means I can get another merchant. Well, they're going to push up and take Suggestica, or they're going to attempt to do something like that. So that army in the north is going to move up to try and intercept. I couldn't hit them when I could see them then because I had no movement points. Faction leader has died. Good, I didn't like how the map was all grey then. That was pretty spooky. It looks like they might make it regardless. We might have to just push south anyway to continue the pressure. But anyway, let's go and attack the city. They're going to bring in some reinforcements. Actually, let's have a look at what they are. Cavalry levy pikes. We've got one unit of Greek cavalry, which is... I'm not quite sure what the difference is between them, but let's go and take them out. So once we retake Thermon, we then gain more economic capacity. Start our deployment. Yeah, as it stands, they've not got enough men to uh, intercept. Well, they, well, they, they, want not, they don't have enough men to cover each of our breaches. So let's put some unit of infantry behind each unit. Our hoplite militia can go up front, up the centre, sorry. Let's keep our velites. Loose formation, advance up the, up the centre. And we've got four units of cavalry that can wait. Yeah, but where are their men going to come into the battlefield from? That's the question. I mean, in theory, they should be over there. Yeah, there they are. Could probably intercept my cavalry, but to be honest. Uh, I'm fine with intercepting, with meeting their lances on the battlefield. Well, I'm fine with meeting them in the town, chiefly because they are pants. Although, where is their... They do have hoplites coming in as reinforcements, don't they? Yep, now they are. So let's bring our cavalry over. Intercept these pike, these uh, mercenary hoplites. Quite good at the moment, which means we haven't got to do. We're not doing any micro near the gates. Right now, we're trading blows with the pell tests. them. Good. Yeah, let's prevent this hoplite unit from joining the battle lest they Okay, good, we're in. And as these guys trundle towards this unit of Equites Good stuff. Then we definitely want to kill them so they don't get into the into the town. 
So it's just the gatehouse we have. Kill them all. My men are all a bit tired. Some of them are winded. But we've killed them with the loss of for the loss of three cavalrymen. So let's trundle them back to our positions. Roman military engineering triumphs once more. The walls are down. Order your men on to victory. I want my Valetes over here to go attack that Peltast unit. Not Peltast, that javelin unit, that pike unit. You guys should be hurling into those cavalrymen. You guys are going to... I'm going to turn fire it well on when they march through the gap. May as well use our peeler to get some good hits onto the flank of a mercenary hoplite unit. start to throw missiles into this wall of cavalry. To be honest, you guys can fire it well now, because that's a lot of turn fire well off, so I don't need to throw all of your peeler. I was going to say, is that Greek cavalry leaving the city, or is it just weird pathfinding? I think it's the pathfinding. Okay, so let's bring up the infantry that's going to follow our men into the breaches. Because they need to kind of face back to back a bit. So what I want is to get my pikes in there, but I don't think I'm going to get a, a good chance. Yeah, the General's Bodyguard is still a Light Lancer unit. Okay, let's start putting some men into the breach. Go hit those cavalrymen. You guys stop firing. Let's get these Hastati inside. Let's get Pelt mercenary hoplites inside. Let's get our Hastati inside as well. There you go, those cavalrymen are getting slaughtered because they're routing through our pike unit. We do have a. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. I might put my hot plates facing that way. Oh, look, they're chasing down those. charge in. Pretty sure Principes beat <laughs> Militia Hoplites. But to make, just in case, I'm going to run these guys down around like that. New General Fleet. Come on, you men, push the flank. Prince Pays, are taking a bit of damage. Mercenary hot plates 
march up to fill the gap. There we go. Slaughter the hoplites. Some of them are going to make it through, but not enough to make a difference. Come on, charge into my hoplites. Be nice. It looks like they are going to slowly trundle into them. God, mercenary hoplites are brilliant. I do like them. Yeah, they've been repelled. Get our. No, don't run, just walk. Start to get our cavalry into the city. So I'm only throwing my men in there just to give my hoplites a bit of support so they don't feel they've been left alone. But my hoplites can march up the... No, you guys don't... I don't want them to run up at the same speed. Are you running? No, don't. Chill out. Chill out, my dudes. Actually, I might make the cavalry run. I want them to come in from the northern edge of the square while my hoplites push up through the town. No, not at the devil. Chill out. There we go. There go the light lances. So let's keep Marching them forward. Yeah, I'm being a bit cautious here because I don't want I want to lose as few men as possible. You guys run. Charge the light cavalry. Do you have guard mode on? Got another cavalry unit coming in. Okay, you guys then form up. You guys form up behind them. Let's get our cavalry to run. So I want you come all the way around to the north you guys go to the west no don't go through the town <laughs> cavalry's falling everywhere Peltest are going to wander into our grasp as well. Ah, oh, god damn. They've broken before they even got to the, the square. Lights lead the way. Just push him up to the square. Then my men will go in. Fire at will. Let's get a javelin throw. Get a javelin throw at these Greek cavalry. Actually, you don't even. Oh, you do have Peter. They're broken before they even made it to the before they even made it to the lines. Okay, you're out of ammo. 
Another cavalry unit charges into my militia hoplites. Where's the bodyguard? Where's the captain then? Okay, now it's on. Equites goes straight into those peltests. This Equites unit storms in. Come on, Equites, straight into those peltests. Just get rid of this little menu. run this Astarte unit up. They flank this unit into the back of the general. Oh, this is two of them, isn't it? Because they've got... Ah, okay, they do have an actual general in here. General's been killed. It is time to press the attack. It is time to press the attack. General, please! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! There we go. So my men are, my cavalrymen are dying as well. My Astarte can take out the Peltests. Is that their captain? It is. You guys go after. There we go. There they go. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. And take out the last of these peltists. There's only one left. He's dead. Are the men gonna celebrate? They are not. My hoplite is just gonna get back into formation. Good stuff. Very good stuff. And I think Thermon is established enough that I can retrain my Hastati at the very least. Victory! Victory and glory. Occupy the city. There is no shrine. Let's repair this and let's build a shrine to Juno by the looks of it. Yeah, there we go. I can do some retraining. So we do have this army. That might get up to no good. You push against them. Ooh, big army. Pull back. <laughs> I mean, it's possible levy pike. Oh, okay, because our uh, faction leader died. Okay. You get a unit, two units of Town Watch to help you chill out. Just get another unit of Principes to send over to Apollonia. Two more I could probably do with another actual spy. Can't build war dogs. Could probably recruit one back here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're out of money. We're out of money. We don't have enough governors. I presume he didn't die. I presume he died uh, naturally. Okie dokie. Ooh, we're going to be fighting on the open field, hopefully with no reinforcements on the flank. Okay, I think I want to pull back. But I want to re-engage. Do 
chiefly because that's the sort of army I definitely want to fight on the field. Their cavalry is a bit pants, so I could it would be handy maybe if I had a a more cavalry and b uh, more principes. Thrace are on the march towards Polarissum. Hopefully they start to attack the Macedonians. Crotons chill out. Can probably dispense with recruiting that second unit. You can't retrain your mercenaries unless the mercenaries are available to be recruited. We're not going to get our Senate objective. Alliance in Greece and Egypt. Julia is now at war with Macedon. Macedon's our ally with Scythia. New faction leader. That's this guy. And it's unfortunate I cannot give them the support they need because they've got two of these units are pretty weak. But let's combine them. Do you have Triarii at least? Ooh, okay. Mercenary Hoplites, Archers of Crete, Hell Tests. Get them all. And let's go and engage this Greek general. So how much cav have we got? Three units plus our general. It should be better than their cavalry. But this is our first um, field battle against Macedon, so let's hope I don't bugger it up too much. Because that's entirely possible. Like I said, I haven't played this game for a, a long time. In the woods is not quite where I want it to be. Let's form our infantry line. Let's form our infantry line that's going to push up. We've got skirmishes behind them. Archers of Crete are also in position. I'm going to have to risk my faction leader. Actually, where's my Triarii? I might want them out of the line. So I can move them to wherever the cavalry are. Such as support of the right flank. Run my Peltas up, skirmish mode off. Macedonian cavalry, that's not great. Front rank can all fire at will. Run my Triarii in. Archers of Crete would probably be good to go after their lances. Now, you guys engage this big cavalry battle right here. You guys stay out of it. Too bad these guys managed to get the charge off. You guys run around. Archers of Cree engage those pikemen. So they've broken, but we've got our javelins nearby. The cavalry can run around and start to hit some of their pikes. Pity about the trees. Equites, get them out of formation. Can you guys get out of formation and run. 
you guys charge against that unit with my archers of Crete, start to pick apart their main. And you guys hit that militia hoplite unit. Well, no, don't charge that militia hoplite unit. Okay, they. That phalanx hit didn't go very well. Let's get you out of combat. You guys get over. Hit these hoplites in the rear. Ah, oh, that cavalry's routed. Maybe you guys can try and take out the Macedonian cav. Get out of the way. Trees really don't help. Come on, mercenary peltests. That cavalry's damn good. Come on, Prince Pace, just hold. Oh, they're withdrawing. Creatures, Cretan archers. That was a messy battle, very messy. I lost a lot of men doing that. Pretty much always, it looks like in trees you just want to always sit as a uh, You almost always want to just continuously be in holding spacebar. Archers of Creep just continue to skirmish. You continue to chase down the hoplites. into the rear of these hoplites. We ran away because those men actually turned around to fight us. Run away, run, 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 run! run these two units in to hit that last spearman unit which hopefully they should break actually you should go after that unit because there's still only one left there we go Oof. archers of Cree stop firing Oh, I thought this was the edge of the map. Okay, let's speed up time. Oh, there we go. Phew. At least we managed... Oh, we did a good amount of damage. Um, top, tri top tip now for me is not to fight in trees, because my skills are not good enough to uh, maintain that situational awareness. But at least that is that army pushed back. Go back to Apollonia to rest and refit. I expect those guys are not going to attack us the way they were going to, or the way they intended. Trait increase. Alice Brutus, good commander. I expected so, because you were a... You are our faction leader. Okay, right. Tarantum has got Principes. Oh no, I've already shipped them over. Construction tab. It's Jessica. 
has not grown, Apollonia has not grown, Salona has not grown. Thermon! Build a trader. Actually, let's build basic roads. Actually, no. Build a trader to also get that pop growth bonus. Awesome. That's one Macedonian army repelled. Too bad we didn't get their general or as much of their cavalry as we'd have liked, because some of it has withdrawn completely intact. Macedonian cavalry is scary. Um, but, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time after that slightly sketchy battle to uh, continue our advance into uh, Macedonian territory, and sooner or later, engaging with this guy. Radio. Thanks, everyone.